Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I went on a little camping trip this weekend and uh, had a good time, relaxed with a couple buddies and just hung out. It was a good time, but I didn't film nothing. I thought maybe I should have, but we just took a, took a relaxing trip this time and uh, didn't worry about filming. But anyways, back here on the homestead, uh, this afternoon I was had some free time, so I decided to go ahead and make a makeshift feeding trough for them pigs, finally. <laughs> so let's go down here and take a peek at it and throw some food in, see if we uh, succeeded or if I'm gonna have to start over. Let's go check it out. Daisy, what's going on there? We got a chicken in here. Look out. Hold on a second. Daisy's alerted me to something here. Let's take a peek. Oh my goodness. Was well, there any eggs in here? Sorry about the camera work, guys. Got a chicken in there and no eggs. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Damn, I thought we'd have an egg for sure. Oh, well, well. Hopefully next time. Let's walk over here to the pig pen. This isn't completely finished yet, as far as I'm concerned, but we got a little makeshift thing started here. This is from the backside. And I'll walk you inside and show you what we got going on here. You guys know how we do it. We just take some stuff that we have on the property, whether it be scraps, scrap two by fours, scrap uh, plywood, anything we, we can make use of that we already have, we try not to purchase nothing. And so sometimes it looks a little funky, but that's the way it is. So if you peek on the inside here, come on pigs, get down. That's what the little trough looks like. That board right there is an old actually uh, scab off of my uh, sawmill and they're getting kind of rowdy here all right we're gonna pour it in here and see what happens this is our little chute on the back side and we're just gonna this is our first test we'll just start dumping it in down the line there into the trough not too bad I think the wetter the better on that little situation or the drier huh that's not doing too bad that's the, let's take a peek on the inside here see what's going on with these bigs on the inside Oh, sweet. Look at that. It's like these pigs knew that it was going to happen. They just actually today they were over here, stuck their heads in there as we were putting it in here, as if they knew exactly what we were doing. That fills that up pretty good, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And then they're able to get that stuff that kind of sticks on the back. They can lick it off well, of there. I'm glad you put the side. Yeah, that works out pretty good. Because I kept Interesting. wondering. Well, it's going pretty good so far, first try. I think it might not be a bad idea to make just a little scrape board for the back. Get out of there. Looks like the dogs have a little trough on their end too. But So we're gonna give them a few minutes, let them eat some of this, come back and check it and make sure it works out pretty good. Well, that's how that's going, guys. Like I said, I was, this board here we pulled off of uh, just a slab off of the sawmill from the previous thing. and So it's one of them live edge top slabs you cut off the top. And it was a kind of a thick little board that tapers down one side, but it's pretty sturdy on both sides anyhow. And I went ahead and took that and just screwed it to an old piece of plywood. And we put a couple little uh, corners on the end there. Then just we cut one of our rails out of the middle there and slid it through there and attached it to that little fence. Um, so it's kind of a, you know, it's a interesting little project. <laughs> It looks to be good, doing pretty good. They're climbing in there for no reason. They're just trying to get where everybody else is. Come on, you got plenty of room, guys. We'll back up and dig in right there. So hopefully, but I guess if they climb in there, it's not too big of a deal. It's pretty sturdy. I mean, you know, I could probably step on that thing, no problem. But anyways, that's what's going on here today. Let's go check the cows real quick. And uh, we'll come back and check on them in a few minutes. Make sure it's working good. But... I kind of like the way it's working so far. I'll tell you one thing, guys. It's been about 40 degrees the last two days. Maybe even a little more. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's been getting pretty pretty mucky around here. And give you a little peek at that. This is the calf corral. And you can see we are <laughs> we're pretty muddy out there. These guys are having to wade in some pretty good crud to get to their food and uh 
couple more days like this, I'll be able to come in here and clean it up real good. But right now, of course, it's still frozen underneath that little bit right there. A um, couple more days, I can clean that out. But let me walk you down to the cows and show you theirs because theirs is even worse. And uh, I guess it's that time of year. We always deal with a few days like this. So as we make our way down here to the cows, you can see that their little corral or their feeding spot is just a muddy, poopy mess. And this is about as bad as it's been this year. Um, I'm kind of surprised that I didn't think there was that much moisture in there. But, uh, you know, I didn't go in there but one time with my bucket to clean up. And the snow, as little snow as we had would come and go, come and go. And then we only had a couple few inches here. But uh, <clears throat> I just breathed in some alfalfa dust. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Anyways, so <sighs> I'm going to give it a couple more days if we have these similar temperatures. Because if it can thaw out a little bit lower than that, then I'd come in here and do some good. Otherwise, I'm just going to scrape this off the top and they'll be dealing with this again. But hopefully um, a couple more days like this. And I can clean this up a little bit, make it a lot nicer for them. It's kind of weird, guys. I'm a little concerned. As you look out across the valley there, there's not a whole lot of snow. And up in our mountains, we're, uh, we're kind of short on snow. It's the end of January, and it's, uh, it's not looking good for our, our snowpack. And around here, we need the snowpack. That's what supplies a lot of our uh, irrigation and stuff out here. You know, we don't get a whole lot of rain. Um, Maybe seven inches a year or so, it depends, it fluctuates. Last year we had a little bit more, which is nice, and hopefully this year we'll have a little bit more rain as well, But because uh, the snowpack provides our irrigation for our ranchers and farmers. That's where we get hay, that's where we get pasture for all of our animals, and without it, it is, it is bad, bad news bears. Um, as I walk over here and check out, you can see the snow has melted off of Pert near everything around here. We didn't have much to begin with, but it's melting off. My little grass patch over here. All the snow is off of that. I was really hoping for that snow to stay on this grass patch till, I don't know, March or so. And uh, that way it would come back nice. But, you know, we might get some more snow though, guys. Um, we, like I said, we have a couple 40s coming up. But the following week it's going to cool off again down to normal temperatures. And we might get another chance at some more snow. Um, we've had some late winters before, like March and stuff, where we've got a lot of snow in the in the mountains. And so I think a lot of us around here are hoping for that. Uh, we don't want to deal with another dry fire season. But as of right now, we're having ourselves a pretty good drought this winter. This side over here is a little bit mucky, but not too bad. If you guys have been following me in the past... <laughs> Like last year, we were really messy in here a lot because we got those snow after snow, like two or three inches every other day for a while. And, you know, it'd melt and it, it was a big mess. Anyways, let's go check out the pigs and see how they're doing with that new feeder real quick before I let you go. Okay, they've been going at it for quite a while and things are going pretty good. And I'm just kind of shocked, guys, how well that's holding that fluid we got it a little bit wet i think this time but uh normally they dump it out and so having it sit in there my wife is just saying they're not going to be as thirsty because they do dump their water quite often so this will keep them from having to do that but it is working like a dream i think so not too bad i'm feeling kind of happy about that let's sneak peek from this side again real quick and there they are down in that trough so I didn't seal that up I just screwed that uh, plywood to that little board we got down there at the bottom that uh, rookie get out of there dogs are gonna come over here and eat but um, I just screwed it to that board we didn't seal it up with no silicone or no glue or nothing um, I thought maybe it would hold the liquid long enough for him to eat and this is pretty good evidence I think it did because it's been you know 20 minutes or so that liquid's still in there, so it's holding nice. And these pigs, I think they're probably going to be pretty happy campers with this little unit. They're not going to be wasting as much. We're going to be happy without having as much waste. And maybe they'll have some fuller bellies. They'll be a little bit more happy, less cantankerous. 
Let's give them a little rubber rib. Look, they don't even care right now. They're just having a good time. They're just going ham on that stuff. So that's it, guys. Just a little simple pig feeder made out of some scrap wood I had laying around. And uh, not too bad. So we'll check on it here in a week or two and see if they don't destroy it. Our sun is setting today, guys. It's a beautiful day. Not much of a cloud in the sky, but my goodness. Thanks for coming along. Uh, check in with us later this week, and we'll uh, see what's going on at that point. But um, Have a good one, guys. Take care, and I'll, I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.